Adecker's Lords of the Fallen drops on the 13th of October and a huge thanks to CI Games for letting us have early access to this so we could test it out on the Steam Deck. Now if you do install this on your SD card you will get a low speed disk warning but I have good news on both fronts. It does actually seem to run perfectly fine on the SD card as that's where I did install it first. So although you did get that warning every time, performance doesn't seem much different although it does give a little bit extra stutter and load spikes here and there. But other than that, it is actually perfectly playable on the Steam Deck SD card. As you can see, as I switched back over to the SSD, apart from dying a lot, which it's a Souls-like, so expect it unless you are absolutely a master at this. But the graphics and the gameplay are absolutely superb. Now, even on the SSD, it does take quite a hit on the graphics. This is a beautiful looking game and you will be running at around 30 to 40 frames per second for the most part. So you can cap it at 30 frames per second if you want a smooth and consistent experience. But I did tweak the settings a little bit. It did automatically set everything to low, but it did have motion blur and film grain on. So I've turned those off. I didn't see much difference in performance with chromatic aberration off. So I've left that on because it just looks so much better with it. Now switching between the two modes, it feels a bit like the medium where you switch into the under realm, which is called the umbriel in this but you only have one chance to live if you do be in the Umbreal. At least if you are in the standard world, if you die, you get sent to the Umbreal, so you get a second chance, but you reap extra rewards for being in the Umbreal, but you also only get one chance at living. Also, if you do stay too long in the Umbreal, you will get hunted down by something else. I won't spoil it too much, but don't want to spend too much time there. As you can see though, this game is absolutely beautiful. We do dip into the 30s in some areas, because those graphics are, especially the cutscenes, they are extremely well done. I've not had any issues, although I did have a couple of hard crashes on the SD card. Nothing of problem on the SSD. You do still get some pop in in some of those scenes here and there. Running with no frame cap, you are going to be hitting the temperature limit, as you would expect. Bouncing between that 30 and 40 frames per second with fans at full and sitting around the 80. 8 90 degree mark so you can only expect around an hour and a half gameplay on this at the max before you're looking for a power source good news too on the multiplayer it is working although you have to forgive the long match times for me in the pre-test obviously there wasn't a huge amount of players but you can also summon assistance for boss fights when you are struggling and i struggle just playing this game generally so the boss fights were just a bit extra and you'll see your companions get pulled in and you can run around with them just as well. Of course you can join other people as well, just gotta get it from those waypoints, but you will die a lot. You can see just how good the gameplay is here, although my companion did seem to disconnect fairly quickly. You can only expect great things when this releases. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into Lords of the Fallen and whether you're going to be playing on the Steam Deck or somewhere else. I'll leave you with a little bit more of the boss fight here so you can see just how good this game is. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.